What I've done here today is give an example of the LEDs from Hobby King, the strip LEDs controlled by a what's an E-Flight brushed 20 amp ESC that I had lying around. I actually have a couple more. Um, what I've done is I've hooked up a brushless ESC with a three cell battery uh, with no motor attached so we won't have that firing up. Uh, it's hooked up with the receiver there's my orange it's actually flashing I haven't gotten a good signal but that's okay for this uh, experiment I'm not looking for uh, multiple signals here but uh, I've hooked up a, a meter also to show the amount of voltage draw and at what point uh, those lights actually fire up and what I found is as I use my transmitter to increase the voltage um, to the brushed ESC I'm finding that the, th the throttle is not as linear as I would hope. Um, what I'm seeing is within the first three or four clicks, the lights are coming on and we're showing about seven watts or seven volts of energy uh, pushing right away and then increasing to uh, 12.5 as the throttle increases. So I'm going to start off by uh, starting with the throttle at the lowest, which is right now, and I'm going to increase each click to show you where the energy draw is on the meter along with the increase in brightness of the lights. So with one click we have nothing, two clicks, three clicks, and it's immediately showing 7.14, 7.2 volts. Going on with another click, five clicks, six clicks, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, and I am almost at half throttle, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That looks like about half throttle and I'm pulling twelve point six volts uh, off the battery to power this brushless DSC and those lights. Now I'm going to gradually go to full and there is not much change in the brightness even though the meter is showing twelve point four eight volts. As I decrease, slowly decrease, you can see the lights start to dimmer and they actually have a flickering effect the lower the voltage you go, which may be okay for a afterburner effect, but it's not giving you the brightness that I believe you need for this. And there we go, back to zero and there's still a click or two left. So slowly on again. Full throttle, and back down. So there may be an opportunity to program this ESC. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really tried to program it. They're kind of old. I've had them for about four years off of some slow sticks. Um, but uh, with a good quality, maybe a Castle Creations, um, programming would be uh, really good to have a linear throttle response through that ESC to be able to control that brightness. So it looks like it can be done. It's already been done on the internet, uh, RCG, and I just wanted to experiment with it now to see where that uh, threshold was of the current draw and what amount of draw that was going to uh, be considering that I'm using two separate batteries, not one, but two separate batteries. Um, you, you would also be able to tap into your main battery which is supplying your brushless ESC uh, because the draw on these LEDs are pretty minimal over a, uh, a few flights you should be able to um, not see much of a difference in flight time. So that concludes our little experiment. hope you liked it.